Hey y'all, I have never done a full trading setup video and after making some updates, I thought it was the perfect opportunity to show you. First, I wanna mention that I started trading on the computer that I already had. For me, that was a kind of old 27 inch iMac and that's where I suggest that you start, whatever computer you already have or have access to. I grew this setup one edition at a time and it really evolved with my trading journey to help me prioritize what I needed to watch and you know, weed out the things that were just noise. It also helped me to learn software just one bit at a time instead of trying to learn everything all at once. This summer marked my third anniversary in day trading and I had taken trades before, but really mostly just in my long-term portfolio. Before June of 2021, I didn't know an options contract from a futures contract, and now I can't get enough of them. <laughs> you can see a whole lot of screens behind me, and when I'm trading, these three 27-inch monitors are all a part of my battle station. All of this is powered by an M1 Max Studio, which I love for everything but trading. I use this Mac Studio or when I'm traveling I'll use my laptop to log in remotely to control a Dell PC that does my trading grunt work. I have other systems that I can log into for testing so that I don't have to interfere with my bread and butter trading setup to run scripts that I'm developing and this really helps keep them from distracting me but also at an arm's reach. This fourth monitor is a 17 inch travel monitor and I'll link these below for anyone interested. I originally got this for traveling obviously but then I realized that it was silly just letting it sit in a bag when I could put it to daily use. If you want to see my travel setup let me know and I can give you a tour of that as well in another video. On this fourth monitor I keep my more personal things that I want to keep an eye on throughout the day like my emails, my texts, any web browsing, shopping, that sort of thing. When I was using one screen, I did this with my laptop or my phone, but it's more convenient using this all in one setup if I'm able to. I tried using Apple's universal control with my laptop and an iPad, but I really kind of found it unreliable and therefore aggravating because you know it loves to glitch at the worst possible moment in the heat of that moment. When my battle station is in trading mode, all three of these monitors have charts and trading software open. The center monitor is where I keep the most important items. I have the charts that I trade off of there. These have the primary instruments that I day trade, which are the ES S&P 500, the NASDAQ, and crude oil futures. I have all of those front and center next to this kind of dashboard group of charts. And I'm watching smaller time frames here, usually the one or three minute on the bottom and then the five minute on the top. And I keep these charts pretty clean so when orders are placed, the charts aren't unusably cluttered. This is a trading view window that holds some charts that don't really fit anywhere else that I like to keep an eye on while day trading. The first is the tick chart, which shows you how many of the 2,800 tickers listed on the New York Stock Exchange are moving up or down at any given time on a scale of negative 2,800 to positive 2,800. I also always watch the daily so I can easily see when we are coming up on major levels and technicals. I also like to watch how the indexes are moving in relation to each other since I'm primarily an index trader. And for that, I like to use a line comparison chart. I have a video on how to make this and it's completely free if you're interested. Here you can watch the S&P, NASDAQ, Dow, and Russell, how they're moving in relation to each other, as well as the US dollar, VIX, and bonds. Above these charts and still front and center on my middle monitor, I have my account dashboard where I can see a list of accounts and other important information in a series of tabs. I'm using NinjaTrader 8 to connect to multiple brokerage connections, including Ninja, Prop Firm Trading, and even some external brokerages like Interactive Brokers, although this does carry an additional monthly fee. 
I keep a window open that lists all of my account positions and orders. Especially in futures, it is essential to make sure that you've closed out of all of your positions and orders anytime you step away. I also keep Replicanto handy, and what it does is copy trades from any account that I designate as the leader account to any accounts that I want to copy the trades to. And I can even translate these trades from minis to micros and vice versa. This is third-party software, but you can use my link to get 20% off. If you've been considering the Apex trade copier, it is Flowbots trade copier rebranded. I recommend going directly through Flowbots because their customer service is great and you can take it with you to any brokerage. On my left monitor, I keep my second most watched charts. At the top of my screen, I have the same tickers on my line chart and in the same colors, but in candle charts. Here, I can watch how they're moving relative to each other and how they are correlating to the dollar, the VIX, and bonds, as well as their VWAP and volume profile levels. Below that, more S&P 500 charts. This entire group on the left is my multi time frame chart, and it's my default to watch throughout the day. With a quick click, I can change the ticker on my entire chart to see the 1 minute, 5 minute, 15 minute, 1 hour, and 6 hour charts. This makes it quick and easy to see support and resistance, trends, and channels. I keep these tabs ready so that I can see other charts with just one click. This includes the daily, but huge, a higher time frame chart that is clear of everything except for the levels that I'm studying, and some TPO charts. There's no fumbling in the heat of the moment when all of these are right there, easy to find. Because there was room, to the right of that, I keep a couple of extra trading charts. I just added these because often I want a separate chart to manage a trade in a second or seventh account. And I also keep my news feed here so it's hard to miss, even for a dumb Barbie like me. Last but not forgotten, my right monitor. Like the strip of indexes, I keep a strip of FANG tech stocks. These are the most heavily weighted tech stocks in the S&P 500 and the stocks that I watch most for options and equity trades. They can also help me understand what's going on inside of the tech weighted indexes that I like to trade like the NASDAQ and S&P 500. Below that, I keep everything else. On the left, there's an extra chart for me to check on whatever. Often I have an extra chart to see a different view of something that I'm trading and maybe some options plays that I'm watching. On the right, I keep my options brokerage software, which is Trader Workstation from Interactive Brokers. I have videos specific to setting up TWS if you need. It shares this corner with those other workstations I mentioned where I can test run the coding projects that I'm working on, like my automated trading bots. I don't really have a quiet, chill spot, so I always have earbuds and headphones handy, and I always have a notebook to jot down ideas, notes, and to journal trades. I also have this whiteboard to keep track of my trading plan and jot down some additional notes. Instead of fumbling for my phone, I keep it on a stand so it's hands-free, unless I need it. I also have not one, but two stream decks. The number of stream decks that you need is zero, but they are fun. This one is hooked up to my Mac and this one is hooked up to my PC. I can control things on my stream, but also different volume controls and even some smart home features. I showed you mine, want to show me yours? Find out how to get more Bull Barbie in your life in the description and don't be a stranger. Have a bullish day, y'all. Love you, bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.